The curtain comes down on Dulwich Hamlet's 2018-19 campaign this afternoon. Against Western Supermare, the hosts have won three of their last four games. It was their sole defeat in that period against Hampton and Richmond Borough, which confirmed relegation. Freshman winning at Hemel Hempstead Town on Black Holiday Monday, and they bring in three fresh faces to their lineup. The Hamlet could end the season in 14th place with a win today, as well as breaking the 50 point barrier to boot. Their sixth game unbeaten run at home ended on Monday against Woking. Gavin Rose replaces Dan Thompson and Connor Hunt with Larry Lewis and Dr. Bowes in the midst of a raging storm. Hannah, who will end their season on a high note? Forward to Akinyemi, poked wide, Cook. Tazrax again. It's a clever pass to Dominic Vose. The only Dulwich goal came against his opposition. Out to uh, Maskell, in towards Clunis. Stabs it wide at the near post. Lovely football from Dulwich. Really uh, good interchange of football indeed. Tash backs onto Vose, onto Maskell. First time cross, stab wide at the near post by Dulwich's number 11. It's a nurse, stabbed it towards the edge of the area. Controlled by Gethin Hill. Out it goes, Alex Bray, match winner at Torquay in the season. Sends in a cross, it's a good looking ball as well, just too long to Kane, who derived from midfield. Determined run by the captain, tried to get his head on the end of that cross. Here goes George Nurse, running at Jerich Bagalou, tried to clear the cannon deflection against Nurse, who then sends in a cross. Horrible one trying to deal with. The shot came blocked by Taylor, and then Hill goes in, Edwards with a good save. Kane with a shot off the line by a Congai. Well positioned Magnus of Congai. Dulles couldn't quite clear their lines. The wind didn't help in that. Tashback's trying to clear now, and Ferguson can uh, pass it off to Anthony Cook. Oh, well done, Quaite there and Preston Edwards in there, and then finally Magnus Okongai. Free kick went short to Welch. has got the ball again. Fowler's in a shot from distance, and Edwards has got down loads together. Might have been creeping in his near post, you know. Just a 1-2 between Nurse and uh, Welch originally. Gave it back to Welch, did uh, George Nurse. Took on the shot from distance, trying to catch Edwards out. Scrambled across his goal line to get down low. Bray. Kane's on the inside. He's held onto the ball and slips a lovely reverse pass to Kane. Pulled it back to Hill. Well, Kane should have gone for goal himself, perhaps. Tried to be clever. And teed up Gethin Hill. Wasn't expecting it. To him. Kept it in play, but gives it to Cook. Paul Twackenyemi back with Anthony Cook again, who's taken on the ball infield now. Vose wants to drive forward from the centre circle. Allowed to come on as well. Can he get onto his right boot? Yes, he can. Into Akinyemi, edge of the area. There's Cook, cross goal. And Akinyemi off the goal line. It's come from Maskell. Gets in the shot and drilled wide of the far post. Well, how did Akinyemi not score there? Pass into him, he actually missed in the build up to that. It came for Cook, sent in a low ball. Kingston with a low save to uh, block his cross come shot. And Akinyemi, I don't know how he didn't bundle over the goal line from where he was. Just going to pass forward to Clunis. Held up by Harper. So he uses Vose. Trying to pull the strings as usual, Dominic Vose. Good pass into the edge of the area. Maskell in his right boot. Good low save by Kingston. Sorted his feet out nicely there, Jamie Maskell. Craig Taylor positioning. In the area, telling his defenders to get out to the threat of Nurse here. For goal, roll through to Edwards, who then was uh, caught by the incoming Tom Llewellyn, who's actually come off quite badly. He's going to need some attention here. It was a, a weak shot from Nurse. Rolled into Edwards as he... As he... Uh, Picked up the ball, he ran, he saw the Welland run into him, and Welland's come off really badly. At the start of the month, they uh, beat Dartford here as they look to stave off the threat of uh, relegation. I had to win that day, and they did. Tashbacks was put inside of the real pressure by not clearing, and Gethin Hill fires in a shot, which is blocked behind for the corner. Weston trying to break, and here comes Nurse in behind Jerry's Bagaloo, back onto his right boot, and onto his left, and gets in the low shot blocked by a Congo. So the byline nurse, latest cross should be dealt with by a Congo and he stabs it clear. Well done by Welsh. 25 yards out, he fancies a shot and it's just rising over the crossbar. Not far over though. Edwards would be relieved to see it fly over the top. And then pass Llewellyn, on he goes. Scored his first Dulwich goal last week of course. In the uh, Monday defeat. 
Tried to slip it into Vose. It just didn't uh, quite happen for Dulwich. And now Weston will try and break again. It's with Nurse again. That space against Jarius Bagalu again. Low shot is a cross goal. And about a foot wide. The counter attacking well, Weston Supermares. A couple of chances that George Nurse has had in the last five minutes. Nurse into Jason Pope. Trying to chip one forward to Kane, who's appeared on the left wing. Get a bit of time to work with for a moment. And Taj Bax has gone with him. He drives past him into the edge of the area. See up a teammate here, Jake Penny Candle. Wellen brings it down and then lifts his shot over the crossbar. Hey, into a good position. Tom Wellen. It's uh, maybe leaning back slightly as he uh, fell to the ground. Hill will run the channel. He's the furthest man forward by a good 15 yards at the moment. Taking on a Congite. Slipping it back. Bray. Can he tee up? No, so it goes for his goal himself. Hits a cross here and it curls away for a goal kick. Look for a moment that it really opened up for him nicely. All he has to do is roll it into the far corner, but just slice across it with his shot. Away from goal it goes. It's to Kane, his captain. Step forward. Bray caught by Dominic Vos. Quick bit of uh, work that from Bray. Real opportunity for Western Supermare here. Four men to block Tajbax, Ferguson, Cook, and J. Rich Bagalu, the four in the wall. Vos has joined them as well. Here it comes. It's just wide in the near post. Oh, it's it's gone in. I thought for a moment it had gone wide. Edwards, I thought I'd seen it wide, but it's curled into the bottom corner. Caught me out. Great free kick that from Jared Welch. Got it to dip just inside the bottom corner. Edwards diving to his left. Couldn't uh, keep it out. I thought he'd uh, just seen it wide. The way he died, but tremendously done by Welch. Weston have deserved that lead with the number of chances they've had in the first half. This was the target, but good 10 yards from reaching him. Here's Ferguson winning it back. Dominic Vose coming on. Out wide, Clunas on the right wing, drills in a low ball. It's a lovely ball as well. Cook with a shot. Shouts of handball as he uh, fired a shot. Can't tell you if that was handball from where we are. He's uh, appealing quite vociferously, Anthony Cook. Won't overturn the decision, the referee. Good ball in there by Clunas. So uh, it's Preston Edwards is the man going off. Anthony Cook is going in goal by the look of it. Edwards hasn't recovered maybe from that collision in the first half. Well, this is uh, unprecedented. Dulwich don't ever have a substitute goalkeeper. Anthony Cook is going in goal for the second half. And uh, Dan Thompson is coming on for Edwards. Here goes Nurse down the left wing. He's had a lot of space against Jay Rich Bagaloo during the game so far. Taking him on. Floats in the cross over Essamon and just beyond the reach of Llewellyn. Jamie Splatt's another young, gifted defender who's trained a lot with the uh, first-team squad. Ferguson's been dispossessed by Welch and Hill's in behind. A Congai comes across. Might have been contact from a Congai. Hill went down. Referee doesn't blow for a penalty. Had space between Essamon and a Congai there, though. Just took a bit too long. A Congai at the moment might have uh, brought his man down. Here's Hill. Welch on play out to the left wing. It's a good spot that for George Nurse. Lovely cross in the frame of the goal. I think she's near post and flexed by for the goal kick. Almost caught Anthony Cook out. Harmlessly wide in the end. Went down his throat. Smart catch. Makeshift goalkeeper, Ferguson. Ball's come across him and then send out to Maskell. Clever play from Nathan Ferguson. Maskell's cross towards Thompson. Beyond him, shouts of handball. Clunas spins his man. Is there a shot for him? Well slid in by Jacob Kane. And then he gets up to keep the ball away from Clunas. That's tremendous work from the captain. Just when Clunas thought he could have a real sight on goal. Not bad. Right. Ferguson shrugs off the ball and Vos takes over the situation. And he's got Maskell on the outside. First time cross to Thompson. Chests it down into the area. Slips on to Akinyemi. Dangerous. Puts a shot of the crossbar. First sight of goal he's had since the break. Dipper Akinyemi set up by his strike partner. As it reached him, but it's come for Rich Bagaloo. Tajbacks now. Welch gets in the way of that pass towards Thompson. Sends himself well again, Jared Welch, in this game. Goal side now is Hill. Away from Esselman. Gets in the shot. Skews it wide. Whether that was wind affected or just the presence of George Esselman. Esselman said he couldn't hear the call from his goalkeeper about man on. Case Hill 
could have uh, sealed the points potentially there. Kongai. Long ball forward. Akinyemi trying to get there first. Did they get ahead of the keeper? Akinyemi! Just wide of the far post. Took it around the keeper. The angle was working against him. And just tried to roll it into the far corner. Well, Liam Kingston gambled on getting to the ball first and Akinyemi ensured he couldn't. Took it around the young goalie. Wants to put his boot, boot through uh, stirrupses. Tajas wins it back and Clunis goes wide. Here's Wanadio. First involvement for him. Taking on Goodall. And beats him on the outside. The on loan man. Cross comes in. It's away by Pope. Bad pass given away. Tajbak shoots. Brilliant equaliser. Arian Tajbak. Western Super Mayor of Gifted Dulwich and equaliser. But Tajbak has uh, hit one in absolutely brilliant style. One touch to get the ball out from under his feet. And he's rifled it high beyond the reach of Liam Kingston. Dulwich have huffed and puffed in this game, but they've been gifted an equaliser there. Really is a great finish. That's a late contender for uh, our goal of the season video. Kane inside. Hill missed a glorious chance not too long ago. When it comes to Nurse. Quick feet again from him. And now Kane edge the area, fires in the shot. And again, they can't keep it down. There's been plenty of chances for both sides in this game. They haven't been able to keep the final shot down. He looks to run at the defence once again away from Harrison Z. Stretched out a boot and just blocked for a moment. Tash backs out to Wanadio. Taking on Goodall as the Dulwich number 16. Rides the challenge, gets past him and gets to the byline. Tries to pull it back to the near post by, I think it was Jason Pope. Great pass inside. Tash backs. Look at the space. He's got Arian Tash backs. He can move a long way forward. Out to the left wing. Jamie Maskell's waiting. Maskell to the area, onto his right boot. Maskell shoots, great save by Kingston. Outstanding save, in fact. Tips it round for the corner. Maskell on his weaker boot. With a uh, curling shot, he was going into the bottom corner and Kingston has responded with a really good save. No, they can't manage it. Clunis, Thompson, Winadio White, Dulwich, a parliament forward, every opportunity. Swarming the box with uh, bodies and it comes. Akinemi and Jerich Bagel have got each other's way. I think it might have been the defender who volleyed it over the top. Kingston up towards Hill. Turns a Conga and it's come the way of Bray. Sips it on. Lucas, great save by Cook. Oh, he's done well, Anthony Cook. Made himself big coming off his goal line and saves at the feet of uh, Jamie Lucas. We will have a corner. First save he's really had to make in this second half since uh, going in goal, Cook. Wide to Llewellyn, still on the left wing. Took the corner originally. Diminutive player. Another cross from Nurse. Came off Maskell around the back is Harrison. Ball across goal is gathered by Anthony Cook. Thompson, well controlled, holds off his man and sends it wide to Wanadio. Seen a lot of the balls since coming on Luke Wanadio. And he beats them as marker. In comes across. Jerry Spagel who tried the bicycle kick. That would have been spectacular had he uh, managed to make good contact on that. Maskell retrieves on this near side. Right footed cross in towards Jerry Spagel who heads on and saved by Kingston. Dive into his right. A fairly comfortable one for the goalkeeper. Dulwich fans winning the ball into the back of the net. Ferguson back to Esselman. Weston seemingly happy for a point. They put a man behind the ball. Esselman long up towards Jerry Spagel chests it down to Jacob Kane. And he's giving it away, Kane. Rich Bagaloo across goal. Thompson, can he get the shot in? Dan Thompson clears the ball from six yards. The goalkeeper spilled it. He swiveled it away from his marker, Thompson, and he's put it over. Was that the opportunity to win the game for Dulwich today? That's uh, a bad miss, unfortunately, for Thompson. Tries to find some space. In the end, it never arrived for him, and Kane... Has to be calm and bring it away from danger. Pass forwards, Jon Esselman. Hill tries to get him behind and out of his area. Sprints Anthony Cook to clear for a throw. Esselman, lucky man there. Second half, much better to watch than the first. It's 
coming together in the penalty area and Anthony Cook's on the grounds referee trying to deal with the flashpoint I must have I don't know what sparked I was looking at the uh, corner flag that's a red card I'm not sure who's been uh, sent off is it Cook I think Anthony Cook has been shown a red card here. I, I must have I didn't see what happened, but Cook was obviously reacted to something and struck an opponent, perhaps. So Dulwich is going to be in their third keeper in this game. Dan Thompson has taken the gloves. It's near post, Maskell deals with it again. Nurse. Another deep ball in. Head at the far post over the top it goes. It'll be a goal kick. We've got our four additional minutes. Well, what a balmy end to the season we've had today. <laughs> 